And before we get this video kicked off, don't forget to give us a thumbs up in the video. It really helps us, uh, really helps YouTube let us know that we're good guys, we're making good videos, and they push all that content out to other people. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. You can find us on uh, Facebook and Instagram at TX Hay Farms. That is Texas Hay Farms, but TX as in Texas, Texas, Tex, te you know, TX Hay Farms. I'll, I'll drop the, I'll drop the thing right here. Okay, okay. <laughs> Howdy folks, Dane here with Gold Shea Farms. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Today, we gotta run a few errands. Um, this 4440 is our bailing tractor. Uh, the mechanic called and said he wants the uh, monitor out of it. Well, instead of pulling the whole harness out of it, out of the tractor, it's kind of a pain in the butt. I'm just gonna take the tractor to him and he can hook up to it and run it. Um, that way, I mean, it takes us to get it all organized in there quite some time, so. Um, hopefully it starts. It's been sitting for a while, but uh, we got to do that and then I'm um, gonna take it to him And that's pretty much it for today But the big thing about this video or, or the main topic of this video is uh, old Bessie here For those of you who are new to the channel, uh, this is my Ram 2011 Ram 4500 work truck. Uh, it's got the Cummins in it. It's got the six-speed and um, It needs a little love Big time. I haven't decided if this is going to be a one-part video or a two-part video, but I've got a long laundry list of things to do uh, for this truck. Um, the main thing, organization. Um, some of y'all might watch uh, Weston Chaplin, Champlin's uh, video, and he's got or channel, and, and he's got a, a Dodge like this with the same bed. Um, he calls it Clifford. It's the red one. Um, and I liked how he had his tools in the top bay. Most of his used tools, like uh, sockets, wrenches whatever you know most used screwdrivers um, all that stuff and so um, this side on the passenger side is kind of an open canvas it's just one big trough and so I'm gonna build some wooden dividers in there and uh, start organizing um, I'm gonna do some rearranging the I think I'm taking the generator welder off uh, one it's got a crack in the gas tank my dad's got a new one we just got to put it on but two I've only used it twice and only once on this truck and I've had the truck over a year well over a year um, we're probably just gonna put it off to the side and if we need it one day we'll grab it but I don't really like the way it looks on there it's pretty gaudy looking and out of place I don't want anything on the top boxes that means I'm gonna take the cooler off too and I'm probably gonna put the cooler in the bed here so that's number two on the list uh, take the top things off and then number three is kind of a bigger project there's a bunch of holes in the top of these boxes and it's not very good to keep moisture out of the boxes that have tools in them and so uh, I'm gonna sand them all down and fill them with welds, grind them smooth, and then repaint them. Um, at least it'll look good and won't be leaking anymore. Let's see if this old bird starts. Well, she started, that's all I can ask for. Batteries did good. Probably hadn't been started in probably a month. All right, let's go hook up our new tractor hauler. Be the first time pulling any serious weight uh, with a new trailer. So uh, let's go get that hooked up. Excuse me if you can't hear me that well. I'm dying of allergies and sinuses and whatever it is Texas has to offer that's so good for you. I have to use wheel chocks. Got it loaded. 
a little rocky first try though my first try with this tractor two wheel drive's a little sticky i had to uh or a little tricky i had to push them down on the loader get this front tire up but it's also low so maybe that had something to do with it look how much you push that wheel chalk in the ground let's see how she pulls well we made it let's get this puppy unloaded Tractor's unloading, uh, heading back. Um, all I'm gonna do is take the trailer back, uh, put all the chains away, and uh, head to the house. We'll see you in the morning. We'll start the uh, organization of old Bessie here. Hey guys, it's the next day. So, uh, we're at home, and um, I'm gonna start tackling the truck today. I'm gonna clean out all the bins in the tool on the bed. Um, put them in the garage, throw away the stuff I don't need. And then we're going to start tackling tool inventory slash rearrangement and put it back in the truck. So I'll show you what, uh, what I'm talking about. So this passenger side box, this is where I'm going to start putting all my tools. Sockets, wrenches, hammers, all my hand tools. This bin is where I currently keep everything. But it's just a giant mess. This is on the driver's side. This is kind of where we keep parts, but as you can see here, cans, rags everywhere. Just need to go through it all blades. And then this side is where we kept oils and stuff, but as you can tell, it is just nasty in here. So we're gonna have to figure something out for that. Um, time to start taking all this stuff out, sorting it out, clean this box out, and then we'll start uh, rearranging and putting all the stuff back. Got pretty much all the bean bins cleaned out. Uh, some of the miscellaneous things that came out of it. Random stuff. So game plan for the truck here. Um, this side's probably still going to be like a fluid side. Um, motor oils, grease, grease gun, grease guns, uh, things of that nature. Uh, maybe like fuel filters and stuff. That's kind of greasy and messy because I let a grease tube leak and kind of it just messed everything up in there i wiped it pretty good but it's still kind of not so hot i'm not a fan so this side actually cleaned up better than i thought um it's not completely organized but it's just parts and i'll probably go through it one day but now's not the day down here's where i keep my toe straps and that's always pretty organized um except that one's not in there uh, down here is where I keep all my receiver hitches. It's locked right now. Um, so this is the clean slate where I'm going to start building wooden dividers in here, I think. Kind of come up with a game plan. Um, but, you know, probably starting over here. I'm going to get the vacuum and vacuum all this out. But start with sockets over here. Um, have a long linear tub for standard wrenches, metric wrenches. A uh, long one here for all of my... Uh, uh, socket ratchet bars and things of that nature and then as the as we get further to the back see what else i need space for 
um, and go from there. Um, and then last but not least will be this bin. And this is where I'll keep all my uh, drills and stuff, you know, electric or battery powered tools, saws all impacts, small impacts, lights, uh, air tools. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna carry the grinder and the drill anymore just because of they need power and I'm taking the generator welder off. Um, I do have air tools and then everything, I mean, they've come such a far long way with battery powered tools that uh, I, it's almost not a need for running electricity anymore. Not at least out in the field. If something's broken that bad, we need to pull it in and really take a look at it. We'll take it to the shop or take it somewhere we can get power. Um, next on the list, and I did some shopping, uh, Tractor Supply, beginning of February, always does their uh, end of year sale or whatever. They knock like 20% off of all purchases, yada, 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 so on and so forth. And this year I did pretty good. I cleaned up pretty well. I bought a, I bought a new ratchet socket set, uh, some vice grips, uh, things of that nature. So um, I got, I also went to Lowe's and got some of these socket holders. Um, We'll see how they work. I hope they work well, so I can just lay it in the truck and everything's organized and I don't have to be searching for sockets all the time. Um, so the new socket set from Tractor Supply will go on here. It came in a nice plastic box, but I'm not a fan of those. I always lose those. Um, why not lose them? But they just end up getting mumble jumbled. And anyway, so I got two of these. Should be enough, hopefully. Um, I ended up buying a blower to blow out the baler. It's right there. This is handy just for real quick. Uh, you know, bought a few swivel, swivel deals for the ratchets. Um, a good set of vice grips and pliers. Always need those. Um, what else? A good drill bit set, because this thing was like next to nothing. They're probably not worth the hoot, but if I need to drill a hole in any size ever thought of imaginable, I now have the option to do so. So, thought it was a good buy. And then a good set of screwdrivers. There's that socket set. So, along with all the other tools that I have, um, it's time to start organizing. First thing we're going to do is lay out this new toolbox. Um, start working on my dividers. I got some extra wood in that I've had in the garage for a while. And I am going to start, I'm going to start figuring out how I want to divide this box up for all the tools. So, We'll start playing with that. Let me see if I can get a game plan going. socket sitting over here um, we'll have a board running this way then we'll have a board running this way and one running this way separating standard wrenches from metric wrenches from my ratchet bars and breaker bars over here right here um, I don't know we have so many adjustable wrenches and stuff probably like miscellaneous types of wrenches here all of our pliers hammers and then Should give us enough. Here's our rip board, split that one in half, rip that one down at the same size. So we rip that one down at the same size. Um, that should give us enough divider space. I think I'm looking at it's a six foot board here. So I think we should have enough to, uh, more than enough to, uh, to make up dividers in here. Two at 22 inches sounds pretty good.
and they're sitting there pretty good. This one's wedged in real well. This one's kind of floating around, but it should be all right. But anyway, I got standard metric wrenches, ratchets, and other stuff. pretty good so here it ended up um, I know this isn't the right size or whatever but eh. so three small compartments for whatever miscellaneous things I have hammer spot wrenches and uh, or, uh, adjustable wrenches and pliers uh, standard metric small wrenches both standard and metric ratchets and ratchet extensions and sockets Sorry, camera died on me. Um, ended up not having enough sockets, uh, socket holders for all the sockets that that kit came with. But um, in the meantime, I did get everything sorted in here in a truck like I wanted to. Um, everything's pretty much cleaned up. So uh, we'll just I'll just give you kind of give you a one over, once over of what uh, what exactly I did. So like I said, this is kind of like the oil storage, um, grease tubes, electric grease gun, some oils, fire extinguisher. Miscellaneous. I got to fill it up with hydraulic fluid and things like that. I've got my little tiny jack down there, cross wrench, and I think there's a binder in there. Um, I didn't change this much. Um, I'll go through it one day, but it's 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 manageable. There's not a whole lot that can go wrong. I still haven't cleaned the bed. I think I'll throw away what I can in there, and then I'll organize it another day. And this is the this is it right here. So. These are the latches that I gotta put in here. I need to put those in before anybody gets any wise ideas. But um, here's a latch, got the keys and everything. Um, the dividers worked out well. Allen wrenches, specialty star sockets, weird sockets, um, air tools, all my vice grips over here that I bought, hammers underneath, screwdriver bin. I did change that. I put the hammers over here since I only have two. And I put all my screwdrivers in here. This is a good set. It was like 25 piece from Costco. Seemed to be of decent quality. Um, not bad for truck tools. Pliers bin. Uh, metric standard wrenches. Um, miscellaneous stuff. Smaller extensions. Smaller wrenches. Adapters. Size adapters. Uh, ratchets. Breaker bars. Um, crescent wrenches extensions longer extensions and then here's all my sockets that I put on there um, standard metric and then in the last door where kind of our every tool it was just a jumbled mess um, I kind of rearranged it as well so here we have our go bag still our old socket set it's just a pretty handy one to have um, our big socket set underneath that's a big three-quarter drive um, some new wrenches I got with a twisty and adjustable whatever I don't know, I think I got them for Christmas. Um, this is our cobalt battery operated uh, ratchet. Um, pretty handy. And um, a lot of people wonder why I go cobalt. And it's really one of those things, I'm not particular to any brand, but I did end up having that big impact. It was the biggest impact on the market at the time. It was that cobalt, the half inch impact. And uh, I just started buying, I mean, they're, they're sticking to the 24 volt max battery. Uh, so I'm just building my tools around that. I have plenty of chargers, plenty of batteries, so it all works out. Here's our shelf of cobalt, um, you know, drill, small impact. I got the new blower, big impact, sawzall, flashlights in there. Here's just miscellaneous stuff. I'm gonna figure out how to wire up 12 volt inverter in here to change it, change over to 120 so I can charge batteries on this truck. 
Um, that'll probably be part two video though. So stick around for the next one. Um, here's that new drill bit set. It's pretty slick. Um, they're pretty sharp. Actually, I think I just cut myself. And then a few air tools and stuff like that. But I'll have to get some more socket holders because uh, there's a lot of deep well sockets that I like and uh, wasn't able to put on there. So here they all are. Um, there's actually some more in there still. Some some 12 point sockets and things that are important to have. Um, well, that's pretty much it though. Uh, this is going to be a two part series. I don't have time uh, enough time today to finish. You know, taking the generator off in the cooler, rent mounting it. You know filling the holes and repainting it and stuff like that um, I will get to it probably I'm sooner than later so hay season is about to kick off so I need to get it done so um, thanks again for watching guys thank you for supporting the channel uh, we love you we always love the comments we love to interact with everybody who's watching uh, we love to see where you're from um, hopefully you saw the new hat designs I hope you like some of them um, we're starting to kick that back off to where we'll start ordering hats um, so yeah again thanks for watching guys we'll see you on the next one